When you get into your new Volvo for the very first time, when it's equipped with Sensors Connect, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you connect your phone to the car. So what I'm going to do now is explain to you just how easy and simple it is to do that uh, when you get into your new Volvo. First of all, you take your Android phone and you need to make sure that the phone itself is actually visible to the car. To do this, you push the application button, then you go into the settings menu. After that, you push the Bluetooth button and that will make the Bluetooth signal visible to the car. In order to get the car to search for your phone, you simply push down on the scroll wheel on your steering wheel, which means OK. And you push OK again to search for a new phone. Now there are two things I want to point out here. The first one is there are two ways in which you can actually search and make a Bluetooth connection with an Android phone. The first is by getting the, the phone to connect with the car, or alternatively, you can get the car to connect with the phone. Now, as you can see here, it's come up saying there is no Bluetooth device. So this is where we need to make the car discoverable itself. To do that, you simply push down on the scroll wheel to make the car discoverable. You then need to go back to your Android phone and at the bottom it says scan for devices, which is what we'll do now. The other thing I should also point out is that when you get into your car for the very first time, you will only ever have to do this once. Every time in the future you get back into the car, you will find that the car will automatically connect to your connected phone. So as you can see, now you, because you've made the car in discoverable mode, you will see now on the phone it comes up with available devices My V60. So you now need to push on the My V60 and it will say, do you want to connect to the phone? You say OK to the car and then it will say OK on the phone. But there are two further messages that will come up from the phone. The first one is the passcode, which you've just gone OK to. And the second ones will be how you then receive text messages by voice. You will see now on the phone it says, My V60 would like to access your contacts and call history. Do you want that to happen? And you just simply click OK. And then the next message that will come up will be, My V60 is requesting permission to connect to your messages. If you wish to have your text messages read out to you by the car whilst driving, you need to click OK for this feature, which we'll do now. So that basically means that once you now have that feature enabled, if you have a text message whilst you're driving, the car will then read out that text message for you, which of course is a very safe feature.